Hello, welcome to Anthropology 207. It's actually a ampersand plus 207, but it's close enough. It's a linguistics class, linguistic anthropology. It's an introduction. My name is Eunha Jung. I hold a doctorate in applied linguistics. So this is right up my alley. I've taught some classes that are tangentially related, but this is my cup of tea. Um, I hope you will find this to be your cup of tea, too. Um, I, uh, I'm a professor of English at Olympic College, and welcome. Okay, a typical linguistics class can be quite dry, like, uh, you know, the feeling that you might get by just looking at this dude. He was actually a great actor in a movie called Paper Chase. Anyway, the classes don't have to be boring. Look at this guy. Um, it doesn't have to be boring. Online classes, you know, on-ground classes. Some people believe that you learn by being tortured or being punished or being tricked by your teacher or through pain. Um, I don't believe so. Although my name, you know, a lot of people don't know how to pronounce my first name, which is Unha. Um, my name can conjure up images of uh, the feeling of pain because the best way for you to remember to say my name correctly is imagine being punched in the stomach. You would probably make a sound like U, U. That's the sound. So U plus a nasal sound, you know, uh, the sound through your nose, N, and H, the aspiration, like puff of air coming from the back of your mouth, H. So my name is Unha. So naturally, my name is associated with this feeling of pain. I hope that association extends to, uh, I hope the association does not extend to the subject at hand. All right, online classes. This is an online class. I don't know how many of you have taken online classes, but I have to tell you it's a completely different kind of animal. The things you need self-discipline okay if you're not born with it if you your parents didn't instill it instill it in you you better get it quick because without self-discipline you're not going to be able to succeed in an online class high motivation there are two kinds of motivation i mean you know they're all different kinds of motivation but let's just categorize it into two um one is uh, extrinsic motivation, so the motivation comes from outside. So let's say if you pass this class, your mother is going to give you $100, or your fiancé is going to finally say, yes, let's get married, or you're going to get a promotion. That's in, that would be an in extrinsic motivation or external motivation. And that can go, you know, that can work for a while, but really the true motivation comes from within. It's called intrinsic motivation, and that has a more sustaining power. So, you know, in the beginning, okay, if somebody dangles a $100 bill, that's great. But once you get to a certain point, kind of like learning to play the piano, I don't think anybody really gets passionately into it in the, in the beginning. You should be able to play, you know, something like at least twinkle, twinkle, little star before you start to see the beauty of it. So linguistics, in the beginning, it's going to be a little painful. But just give yourself a little time. And once you get to a certain point, high enough to look at the whole perspective, then you might start to see, oh, this is really cool. God, all these hidden mysteries about language, I've never thought about language this way, can be fun. Technology, you need technology, and you need a lot of time for this class, a lot of time. If you think you can hold down a full-time job or maybe two jobs and four children to take care of, I'm not saying that you're not capable, but there are limitations on how much human beings can take on. So be realistic about your time and, you know, make sure that your plate is um, clean and you're ready to go. And support, support can be um, in, the f in the form of finances or it can be in the form of emotional support from your friends and family. That kind of, those things are important. And computing skills, definitely. So let's get into the technology a little bit. Okay, what you need 
is a high speed internet okay a phone line i don't know do people still use phone lines is not going to cut it okay and you will need a thumb drive because you'll have to save everything okay your computer when you see that blue screen it's gone and you might not be able to retrieve your assignment that's due now and Microsoft Office or an Open Office. Open Office comes from this website, openoffice.org, and it's a free program. And it has a whole suite like uh, Excel, Microsoft uh, Word, uh, uh, Word version, and um, what a PowerPoint. So it's it, and it's quite compatible with Microsoft Office. So I I should be able to open your documents, and. I want you to I don't want you to go out and pay four hundred dollars for a smartphone but if you already have a smartphone that's good or a camera or a scanner because you will have to sometimes you have to write in symbols which is impossible very difficult to type you will just hand write these things for your textbook exercises and you're gonna take a picture or scan and send the images to me as PDF files or JPEG either way okay if all of this sounds Greek to you, you need, you need somebody who's like a little computer person who you can carry around in your pocket or put on top of your computer who can help you with these computing things, okay? And a backup computer. All right. Okay, so what are we going to do? I mean, when we say online, okay, online where? Okay, the platform we'll be using is called Canvas. And the first page will look like this, and you need to log in. And I think there is, you know, at the bottom there's information about the initial login, and make sure that you write down the password because every day I spend about two hours trying to retrieve my passwords. And I have this image, a nightmare of like, okay, I'm gonna go to, I don't know, Nirvana Heaven or someplace. And at the pearly gate, I'll be asked a password, and I will have left it here on earth. And I'll say, can I just go back and I, I know exactly where it is. It's on my computer. I can retrieve it. I can come right back. I promise. But they're not going to let me do that, which would result in me, you know, wandering about and um, whatever, you know, being a gypsy, that might be just my cup of tea. All right. And then when you log in, you will see courses at the top, uh, top menu. There's courses. And if you kind of click on that arrow button, you will see um, all the courses, that, online courses that you signed up for listed there. So click on Anthropology. And this one just shows um, last year's because I haven't, I don't have the uh, this year's thing up yet. But anyway, you will see it will be organized by modules in the home page. So each week you just go into the module and as you can see, I'm going to give you an example. But your screen might not be exactly the same because this is the teacher's screen. You know, I call it the big brother screen or big sister screen. So let's go into one week as an example. So it's a part one, chapter one from the textbook. And the title of the section is What is Language? And there's a to-do list. I want you to read the to-do list religiously, okay? You need to do, sometimes the list can go on forever, but you need to make sure that you do every single thing. And then it's followed by chapter one exercises. This symbol A plus means, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get an A plus. It means it's going to be graded. In fact, I don't know why it doesn't say that. These things are going to be graded too, but these bubbles, that means that these are discussions. So you're gonna go in and to earn three points, you have to participate. You have to make at least three entries. It can be a brand new post if you have a brand new topic, kind of related to you know what is your language question. So let's say you come up with your own language question and you post it. And then, and then you go read other people's questions and then you respond. So any combination of your own post or replies and that kind of thing will earn you if you, as long as you make three entries, three points, right? And the textbook, it's this one. It's called An Introduction to Language. And it's a very readable book. You will, <laughs> linguistics is kind of like science or logic or something. There are lots of symbols and confusing things but this book is very readable that's why I, I love this book and make sure that you get the ninth edition 
ninth edition and there you know these days there are a lot of ways you can get these books cheaper even at our bookstore you can get them used and also you can rent the textbook as well i think okay so what to expect okay so every class has a certain routine right so the routine for this class is at the end of each unit you will be asked to do textbook exercises and you don't do them all because it will take you forever to do them all I will just list the exercises that I want you to do only do those and then I won't be able to go over every answer it's just impossible for me to go over every answer but after the due date I will give you a key and you're gonna compare your answers to the key because it's very important because these questions are going to show up again in your final exam in the final exam and then there's one mini thing it's called video worksheets what you do is you either go to our library in Bremerton and when you go to the library in, in Bremerton go to the circulation desk and ask for video tapes unreserved for this class and it's listed by the course name in uh, uh, anthropology anthropology 207 or under my name and there are five tapes I want you to watch three of them in the library wor worksheets that uh, worksheets that go with those videotapes okay and the worksheets you can print them out at the library but it would be better if you just print them out at home and then take them with you when you watch the videos and if you cannot make it to the library you can go to Netflix and Blockbuster if you go to the to-do list you will see where these tapes are available and you can you know these sites you can kind of sign up for a week no for a month for free so you might want to use their promotional um, deal without having to spend any money and then uh, weekly discussions of course all right so after all this hard work what will you get out of this class and um, no fear of the international phonetic alphabet okay, what is that okay if you have ever opened a dictionary i know people don't go open dictionaries anymore these days but even online dictionaries have phonetic symbols in angled brackets and those are the symbols that tell you how to read the word and that's you know a variation of the international phonetic alphabet and you're going to become a master in this and then appreciation for language for just every aspect of language we're going to cover the history of language different the grammar of language the sound system of the language and how people acquire language and do animals speak language and how do um, machines understand and translate language uh, what can we learn from animals about language processing what can we teach computers about language pro I mean it's just endless oh and the writing system not to forget because you will be looking at all these different aspects of language you will also develop a serious serious set of analytical skills how's that you know by the time you're done with this class you'll have a Ferrari brain that sounds pretty good to me okay how to ace ace an online class not to belabor the point but you know just simply log in regularly okay don't let like three weeks go by before you log in again because the longer you wait the more afraid you're gonna get in you know like oh my god I'm gonna when I open it <laughs> I'm gonna be it's kind of like a closet full of junk and you don't want to open the door because you waited too long and then everything's gonna just cascade down on you and you're gonna be buried in work and you might even give up don't do that okay do not procrastinate participate and complete all the assignments in a timely manner but most of all enjoy because it's gonna, going to be fun I mean, you're going to spend the money and time to do this anyway. You might as well enjoy it. And you'll learn a whole lot more when you are engaged. Okay? Thank you so much for watching the video. And um, I hope you're excited.